Hi, welcome to Square It Up. You are listening to Kevin Burdick. Today we're going to be talking about Twitter and specifically teaching you some ways that you can unlock Twitter secrets. There are three main uses for Twitter. You can use Twitter as a research and news tool, as a networking tool, and as a branding and marketing tool to set yourself up as a thought leader within the golf community. We're going to be exploring all three of these different uses for, for Twitter as a tool, and we're going to be talking about the different ways that you can uh, go into Twitter and access uh, the feature set that is, that is specific to these areas. So without further ado, I give you Twitter. Okay, so this is Twitter. You obviously go to twitter.com in order to get here. If you haven't already created a Twitter account, if you go to twitter.com, you can put in your full name, your email, and your password to create uh, a Twitter account. I'm going to log into the Square It Up's Twitter account, and before I do, I just want to say that any um, any tweets that you see from other individuals that we may follow, uh, we obviously can't control the content of those. Um, doesn't mean that we endorse anything that's being said out there on Twitter, but uh, just be prepared that even I don't know what we're about to see as we get in and explore the wonderful and uh, crazy world of Twitter. So. Here we go. I'm going to go ahead and sign in. And the first thing that you see uh, when you when you uh, fall into to Twitter here are your are the tweets of the people that you follow. And so to start off as a research and news tool, uh, one of the great things about Twitter is you get up to the second news that is um, being tweeted by uh, trusted sources all over the world. The, the trick is, of course, finding these sources. So if you know. Uh, somebody and it, it can be as easy as doing a search here in this top toolbar. If I, I say type in golf or even golf news, for example, you can go in and find um, a lot of the trusted sources out there for golf news. Now, I don't know if this PGA golf news is a trusted source, but I, you know, you can definitely click on follow on the button to go in and, and follow any of these individuals. You'll notice here I'm seeing tweets about golf news, and so I can look through and see. Um, just some of the different individuals that are tweeting um, the words golf and news. If I go down here on the left hand side to where it says people, if I click there, I can actually see all of the different people that are, are, are have golf news in their profile description. So Golf Channel comes up, hi, Tiger Woods, PGA Tour. These are all things that are, are having the latest and the greatest uh, type of uh, tweets in terms of uh, what's, what's the latest in, in professional golf. So I can uh, contact these individuals. That you'll notice right next to the follow button, there's a little drop down here. I can uh, actually contact them by tweeting them, and that's a public tweet so that anybody can see that, but um, they'll be able to see that, and I'll show you where in a minute. Um, I can uh, add them to a list, and lists are actually very, very important. Um, a lot of individuals like myself don't only use Twitter to follow golf-related information. I'm uh, a, a huge sports fan of a lot of different sports, and I, I've created on my personal account lists. So let me show you how to do that. If you find an account and you want to set up a list, you can select add or remove from lists. So these lists enable you to set up groups of information. Let's say you want to set up a list called golf news. You could then create a list right from the screen. Right now I've got top pros, top marketers, and top coaches. These are groups of tweets that I'm, I'm uh, putting together. So I'm going to create one called golf news here. I'm going to make this public. What, what happens if you make it public is other individuals like yourselves can come in and su can subscribe to my list so you can see all this information. You don't have to go in and set this list up for yourself. So I'm going to call this uh, Golf News Great Golf News Outlets. And I'm going to hit Save List. So immediately that will stick my one golf channel in this list. And if I go into this list, I'm just seeing golf ch channel information. So let's go back to that search, golf news. Go in and look at uh, individuals here. Let's say I want to add PGA Tour to that list. Uh, I want them in golf news. Um, perhaps uh, TaylorMade, I'll, I'll add to that list too. 
Now, why don't I just follow these people? What, what lists enable you to do is to collect tweets. You follow, following people puts their tweets on your main page. That, that way, when you log in, those are the first tweets you see. You may not want to see every tweet on your main page that Golf Channel's uh, posting. And so you can set up lists so that you can go into specifically that list and only see those tweets that you want to see at that time. Um, and you can do this without following them. You'll notice if I uh, go to my my top bar here and I click on lists, I'm able to see the list, the custom list that I've set up. And so I see lists here. I've got my golf news list. I've got three people that I've put in there. And you can have up to 500 um, Twitter accounts that you, that you have per list. And I've got my TaylorMade Golf in here and my PGA Tour. And anything that I happen to see in here, I can retweet and uh, share that information with my followers. Um, I can also reply to it if I if I want to start a conversation um, with that organization. You have to be aware some of these large organizations don't always um, tweet back, but it doesn't hurt to, to reach out to them, uh, especially if they have a lot of followers and they tweet back, then their followers are going to see their reply to you. Um, I can also click Favorite, and what happens if I click Favorite, that puts that into... Uh, let me find this one's a good one. Puts that into uh, a, a list of favorites that I might have. So if I uh, am out of this list and I go back into my list, I've got you'll notice a, a list of favorites here. So if I click on favorites, I can see all the tweets that I've favorited. So that's kind of fun. You can also see all of uh, your followers and all the people that you're following here on this main page. How did I get here? Well, um, you can just simply go up to the drop down here, click on view your profile page, and this gets you to this area, and then you click on, this is your tweets here on this page, and then you can click on people that you're following, your followers, again, your favorites that I just showed you, and your lists. So that's, that's how you get to this area. So again, it's top drop down, click on square it up, view my profile page. Actually, I won't say square it up on yours, of course. There's another section, too, that you can access from this drop-down called direct messages. Now, direct messages are the one really private thing that you can have on, uh, on Twitter. It's, a pri it's for private conversations. So if you want to have a one-on-one -on -one conversation with somebody, you can click on direct messages, and you can do uh, a new message to one of your, your, your people that, it, that is following you. Now, to note, you can only send a direct message to somebody that's following you. And you need to be following them, otherwise they can't send you a direct message back. So um, so there's some of the, the direct messages, sort of like uh, Twitter's uh, mini email service that allows you to use. And in the next um, blog post, I'm going to talk a little bit about auto DMs, auto direct messages, why you should or shouldn't use those, what some of the pros and cons of those can be, and you can kind of explore um, some of that uh, part of Twitter. But we're not going to talk too much about direct messages in this uh, forum right now. So we've talked about searching for golf experts, news outlets, creating lists, uh, some of the basic functionality there. Let's go on and talk about Twitter as a networking tool. The big thing and the, one of the cool things about Twitter is being able to follow your peers, have them follow you, and to be able to have conversations, public conversations about things relating to golf instruction, golf business, marketing, social networking. The trick, of course, is finding these individuals. And, uh, you know, one great way to do it is um, if you don't, necessarily know who they are. You can always uh, type in golf professional up here on a search and look at, look at people who have golf professional in there. So, um, I'm sure I'm going to have Hank Haney come up first as as an individual who is probably today the m most well-marketed golf professional out there. Uh, one of the interesting things, too, if you click on a profile and go in Hank Haney's profile here, you can actually find some of the people that are talking with him. These are obviously golfers, people who are passionate about golf. It doesn't hurt to click on these individuals and maybe go in and, and follow these individuals as well. So as you as you find individuals that uh, that are having golf-related conversations out there, it might be good to to ha converse with these individuals and, and talk with them as well. The golfing guru. One thing, that as you follow these individuals, they will see that you followed them. Where do they see this? Well, the same place that you can see who's followed you, and that's up here on this top bar. If you notice this little uh, 
at sign at connect if you click on that you can see all of the individuals that have followed you anybody that has retweeted you um, and, and and so forth uh, here as you scroll down so as you start looking at people that have retweeted you or followed you one of the things I like to do um, as I'm networking with individuals is I click on uh, a new follower and um, let's see golfers one two three I haven't done one here so I can go in here and I can tweet to golfers one two three now what this will do puts this little at sign and this will show up again on that at connect area this will show up for them that I've written them and I'm gonna say thanks for following us uh, looking forward to talking golf and marketing with you something simple like that um, other individuals just prefer to say thanks for following or or whatever but at least that gets a conversation going they can then write back publicly and say something back to you they can write back privately as a direct message if they if they choose to and uh, that keeps the the conversation and the networking going all right um, another thing to do if you know somebody that you trust and they have a lot of uh, interesting people that you're that they're following um, let's say Jeff Ritter for example who uh, is a trusted golf professional out there I can go to Jeff Ritter's profile and I can see who Jeff Ritter is following and who his followers are if I click on who he's following I can simply scroll down and if I choose to uh, follow some of these people John Clayton's a great one um, I'm actually going to put John Clayton in in my list for golf news I can choose to add these individuals though to lists I can choose also to to follow these individuals so Nike women Andy Taylor Andy if you're listening I just sent you a follow request uh, and I can go through and and uh, I trust Jeff's uh, opinion that the, a lot of these uh, individuals that that uh, he's following are going to be related um, to what I'm trying to do in the audience now one of the things I talk about in social media consultations is know your audience know who you're trying to talk to and and that comes into play mostly not only in who you're trying to follow and who you're trying to connect with but in what you're trying to say on Twitter so as you're uh, posting tweets and posting information you would do that simply by putting your mouse over this blue icon in the top right hand corner and you can post uh, any type of information out here on Twitter that you want but the trick is knowing your audience you want to be able to create and share good content so for example if you have a new blog that you've posted or a new video that you've created on YouTube you can post a link to that most blog services and YouTube for example you can automate it so when you upload a new video it automatically tweets to all your followers that you've got this great new video out there this great new new tip so the trick is finding your voice on on Twitter. What is it is, as you're branding yourself, as you're broadcasting? What is it of value? What do you have to say that's that's interesting to people that you want to follow you uh, in terms of of golf related uh, individuals? Is it tips on how to play better golf? Is it tips on how to market yourself better? Uh, what is it that you want to say? And really kind of figuring out that voice and being able to share information that your followers would be most interested in. Now what happens if your followers are interested in that? They can then retweet that information and share that information with their friends. So uh, you'll notice here as you're tweeting as well, you can add an image, you can add your location. So if you're at a certain course, you've got the ability to do that. You'll also note that if you've got an iPhone or an Android, there's a Twitter app. It has most of these features built in. The interface is a little bit differently uh, set up, so you'll have to get in there and kind of play with that. All right, so let's go back to the my home area, and that's just by clicking on home, and I can see tweets. Let's look at some tweets that I may want to share with my followers. If I scroll down and I look at at some of these tweets, there's just some interesting um, stuff out here. So let's let's look at some of these and let's uh, try to find one that we might want to share. Let me go directly to the golf channel. So this is an interesting, Phil Mickelson's withdrawn from the Memorial Tournament because of mental fatigue. So if I want to retweet this, I just uh, simply highlight the tweet that I want to share and I can just click on retweet. 
and that will share that with all of my followers. Now your goal obviously is you're posting great new content out here, you're posting blogs, is to post things that your um, your fans, the people that follow you, the people that are hanging on your every word will want to retweet and will want to share with with their with their uh, followers as well. Now there's one other area of Twitter that I'm going to show you in this kind of basic overview of Twitter and this this discover area. Now what is this 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 little uh this is called a hashtag, and hashtags are very interesting. When you're forming tweets, you can utilize hashtags to, to take part in, in trends. So these are some of the things that are trending on Twitter. People are using, uh, sorry I can't date you, uh, debate Puebla, different things like this are, are being uh, tweeted right now. So as you, as you look at the worldwide trends, you can actually have a tweet that, that goes alongside these so sorry I can't date you I'm gonna apologize if we see something here that's um, offensive but uh, as I show you these if I was to use the hashtag with the word sorry I can't date you with no spaces it would show up for people that are following this trend on Twitter so you know I don't know if that's something that would um, you know, if there's a, I, I can't date you because you don't golf, if that would be something that you might tweet, um, but you could, you could totally use that um, a, as a trend. And how you use that with a hashtag, so if I go, sorry, I can't date you, that's a hashtag that um, allows people to see this within this, uh, within this conversation. Um, because you don't love golf. And I put a little frowny face just for fun. So that's utilizing a hashtag. Now hashtags more practically um, as, as you're using them um, deal with things. So let's say you were saying I have a new blog up that gives you five ways to improve your golf swing. All right, something that you don't have in here is maybe driver, PGA. These are search terms that you can add to that tweet that will allow more people to find it. So as people are doing that search, as I showed you earlier, as they, as they search for driver, PGA, um, tips, you can um, utilize uh, hashtags to help people to be able to find that tweet. So that's another way that you can utilize those. So that's a hashtag. And as you click on this discover area, you can discover more things that are being hashtags out there, hashtagged out there. Um, golf Memorial Tournament scores. A lot of times they'll tie things with what you're tweeting and what, it, what you're twittering about. Um, here uh, it will be things that would be interesting to you. And then you can choose to share some of these stories um, on, your own, uh, on your own Twitter feed. So my name is Kevin Burdick. This has been uh, Unlocking... Twitter secrets. I've got two more blogs, uh, part three and part four coming up, so stay tuned for those. We're going over some advanced things, some tools, uh, some techniques that uh, you can choose to use to be able to grow and expand your Twitter following and really uh, explode it. We've gone from no followers to 800 followers on this Twitter page in just a few months. I can show you how to do that with, with yours as well. So um, stay tuned and, uh, and thanks for watching. This has been Squared Up.